not exactly a new idea to take Shakespeare's most famous play and retell the story from a different perspective. Back in 1966, Tom Stoppard had an early success with his play Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Are Dead. Now comes Ophelia, which, as the title suggests, sees things through the eyes of the young woman who was quite possibly in love with the Prince of Denmark. Claire McCarthy's film is based on a book by Lisa Klein, and it's filled with twists and mostly enjoyable diversions and deviations from the story we know so well. Shakespeare's story involves poor Ophelia going insane after Hamlet accidentally kills her father Polonius, and of course she subsequently drowns. In McCarthy's film, these events are greatly altered, and therein lies the allure. In this version, it begins with scruffy ten-year-old Ophelia, daughter of social climber Polonius, crashing a formal banquet and catching the eye of Queen Gertrude, Naomi Watts, who decides to take the motherless ragamuffin under her wing and train her for the role of a future lady-in-waiting. What Ophelia inevitably lacks is Shakespeare's poetry. Not only is there no to be or not to be, but Polonius's advice to his departing son Laertes is far more prosaic here than in the original's Neither a Borrower Nor a Lender Be speech. McCarthy and her screenwriter, Semi Chellis, have a lot of fun with the melodramatic twists and turns of the fresh narrative elements, and they're ably served by a strong cast. Watts gives one of her most satisfying recent performances in her twin roles, McKay, who was memorable in Sunshine on Leith, is a suitably bewildered Hamlet. Owen is a satisfyingly villainous Claudius. And Ridley, graduating with style from her Star Wars role, is a delightfully intrepid Ophelia. This visually handsome film, though it may probably annoy Shakespeare purists, is a diverting entertainment. I'm giving Ophelia three and a half stars. <laughs>